What's up, TPU fans? And of course, welcome to Guffenberg's, well, team analysis against the Munchen Snorlax or Danny. Yeah, I am ready for you. And we're actually true for two now, so if Jack is watching, yes. Yes, we have a mixed season. I can deal with that, because I have no intention of losing anymore. Well, I can go free for free and four for four, I guess. To keep that mixed season going. I don't know. Do you know? No. You do not. Anyway, the team is as follows. I gotta do this a bit quick because I'm actually short for time this week. Sadly. I hope you guys enjoy me anyway. His team is as follows. Megalade, Skarmory, Crocodile, Rolling Wash, Infernape, Whimsicott, Dragaldi, Yuxi, and of course Escavaldier. So a lot of good mods to his team. Yeah, a lot of bulky mods. I really, really hate that Rotom Skarmory core. Because I know that it's forced me to use, well, these mods. So what I've been planning for you guys is first of all the Volcanion with being of course the modest No actually Rash, I'm sorry, I need, we need speed actually uh, So it's speedy with 236 speed to be able to have speed whips got after plus one It has Steam Eruption, Flamethrower, Earthquake, and Flame Charge So nothing big to it, it hurts everything and Earthquake hits his drug all if he decides to use it Rotom Walls this set which is extremely annoying but that comes from almost all of his team, like I am walled out by Rotom, but I have a few responses to that. Next mod is actually Thunderous Furion, you know, the timid nature, um, and actually max special attack and enough speed here to uh, outspeed a non scarf crocodile, because that's really the only thing I need to be faster than, because Infernape and other stuff like that will outspeed me anyway. Luckily, as long as he's a bandit, Infernape can't kill me, so that's a something I'm gonna keep in hold of, because I'm gonna leave with Thunderous no matter what. Uh, when I Thunderbolt Psychic Grass, not the Nasty Plot. Nasty Plot basically ensures me to want to kill most of his team, and the Psychic is there to hurt the Dragology, Grass not there to hurt the Crocodile. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. That is gonna be followed up by, of course, Mega Sceptile. Which is my only real Rotom response, which is something I need to keep healthy. We have Leaf Storm, Giga Drain, Hinnapar Fire, and Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse 2 HK with the Regal, even if it is Assault Vested. I am timid, I was debating to have, um, to have Modest, but if I have a situation where Mega Glade is evolved before my Sceptile is, then I won't be able to outspeed it, so I have to go timid sadly. So, therefore, as you guys see on the screen, these are my sets. Um, yeah, but I was debating a physical one, but uh, on the testing it didn't work at all. Mega Lay just won the game back to back, so... Especially it's the way to go. Leaf Storm hurts it a lot. Um, that is gonna be followed up by Scarf Guard of War. Um, not max speed, I do believe 180 to be able to have speed. The things that matter, I do believe with Whimsicott. I have Healing Wish here to keep Sceptile and Thunders healthy throughout the match. And uh, Trick for Skarmory. If I trick Skarmory, I basically win. Um, Slowbro, Coldberry, um, able to deal with the Crocodile is the point, actually. Uh, outside of that, it has Skull, Flame, Fire Blast, and uh, no Flamethrower, and Psyshock. Uh, and let's stack up to be able to recover. I need to recover after all. Um, outside of that, we have some speed investment basically for the Escaval, if it decides to use it. I can take a Mega Horn, I don't want to take a Mega Horn, but you know, that's, that's something. Then we have the last one, and the one I'm actually on bench for Frostless. I bench Frostless for Scissor because I needed a Defogger. I can't use Stompan as a rapid spinner, so Defogger is the way to go. So we have Bullet Punts, Agility, Baton Pass, and uh, Defog. So yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing to it here, and uh, I actually like this set a lot. Um, the Defogging is mainly for, well, to be able to actually come back in with both um, the Volcanion and of course the Thunders. Since it will get hazards no matter what, um, the, the, the way to go is actually to, act yeah, to actually defog every chance we get. So I'm feeling confident, I know Scissor is bad for the matchup, it's terrible for this matchup, but I need a defogger and it's not ideal, it's probably worst decision I made the whole season, but I'm feeling confident. And now for the guys with the more common boys. Who has a little more time to record than I do? Sorry about that. So, <laughs> all right, that's the team. And you guys may wonder what the text is. And my PC is kind of acting up, so I can't, for some reason, edit the previous text. So I'll, I'll try to figure that out. But it just, it wasn't meant to be this time <laughs> for some reason. 
But you just have to take my word for it. Now, obviously, I have to say also, Scissor here has Agility Baton Pass. And uh, it's supposed to actually make sure that both Thunderous, God of War, and Volcanion can actually work properly. It's specifically for Volcanion and Thunderous. But if the occasion calls for it, then also slow bro to some extent if you use Dragology. And uh, yeah, the team I think he will be bringing. You know, I was debating back and forth here, you know, what could be the most effective one. But Megalade is definitely up there. Uh, I feel Dragology can do a good work against me. So I'm breaking that. Rodan Wash, Garmory. That is a core I have to be able to deal with. Then after that, Crocodile is gonna feel there. I feel that Crocodile or Infernape or maybe both. Uh, one of them definitely gonna be scarfed in some fashion to be able to outspeed me. And then my Whimsigod. I do believe Whimsigod is a good option for my team. So it, it, it basically comes down to which one of Crocodile or Inferno is gonna come. But yeah, that pretty much decides the things. I can't really say much more. I am I feel that I have to... Like the reason I brought Scissor here is because, like I said, they're the defogging. Like, Dawnfender does, does not do well against this team. So having Scissor unbench there for Frostlass is good because the defog will be helpful in this match, if anything. And uh, outside of that, I really just need to break his uh, offensive mods early. Uh, if I can kill, you know, potential Scarfer or something like that early, I should be golden for this match because the walling game is a game I can play as long as Scissor can defog. Um, because my offensive pressure is much, much higher than his offensive presence can. Withstand, but like I said, I need to play a game of Defog, which is something I have to deal with. Skarmory is gonna be easy, one of the longest surviving mods. I need to keep that in mind that I might not be able to go for a kill on it, but at least I can some somehow nerf it. It's pretty much the size. And uh, yeah, with that said, Danny, you know, much like United, you know, good luck have fun in this game. Um, we are going to battle today, actually, or obviously, I do work this up on Thursday, but you know, it's Monday now. I'm like waiting for him to pretty much wake up, so I'm feeling really excited. I'm I think I got this down. I I really need a win this time because there are a lot of players that have a chance of actually going before me if I lose this match, and only top four is making it. And I'm right now fourth with two and two, and I can't be two for threes. I need to be three for two, and I I am good enough player to pull that off. It's just a shame that Danny is such a good person because I don't want to I don't want to be this guy. <laughs> wow, it's not weird. But yeah, I, I feel that I have a good chance of winning. I just need to properly deal with his wall, and I should be able to win. Like, if I deal, like I said, with his offensive mods, I should be golden throughout this match. But yeah, with all that said, you will see, of course, the result tomorrow. So, yeah, until then, take care, guys. Bye.